Hello everybody, this is Mike Dietrich speaking and today in a quick video I would like to show you the patching of the Oracle 18.3.0 update. So I've downloaded the software and before I can start patching of course I have to shut down my database first. So here the database is CDB2, so it's a multi ten database and first action shut it down. And as the listener is running from the same home I have to stop the listener as well because always I can't patching. Next step is checking the opatch version, and you see it's version 14, and then afterwards directly check the opatch conflicts if there's anything coming up. So all looks good, opatch succeeded, conflict check passed. Then one extra thing I realized when you apply the new version of the pre-upgrade char, one file seems to have the wrong uh, uh, permissions and this is the pre-upgrade messages dot properties so it needs write permissions so I change mod plus rwx for the pre-upgrade messages properties so just check this it doesn't have to be necessarily there but I have a new version and uh, that seems to be currently an issue then I change to the patch directory which is an external share here and it's the patch update for the database only. So next step, I apply now the patch. So Oracle Home slash opatch slash opatch apply. And this will now safely apply the July 2018 update 18.3.0 to my 18.1.0 Oracle Home. So is the system ready for patching? Yes, system is ready. And then it gets patched. I uh, did a bit of fast forwarding here, so it progresses a bit faster on my screen that you may see it actually in your environments, but it doesn't make much sense to just watch a video for a minute doing nothing or for 30 seconds. So that's why I did a fast forward here for some activities, but it's fairly quick. Uh, actually, the entire action in my environment took, I think, eight minutes, including the data patch afterwards as well. So it's not too long. So you see all the components get patched here. And once this is done, an O patch completed successfully now. The final step I'll have to do is first start the listener again and second start my database. And is it a multi ten database here? I have to make sure that all my pluggable databases are started as well. So do all the pluggable database all open. And the final stage then is running data patch verbose. And data patch verbose will now put in all the SQL changes associated with the patch. So this actually took, I think, a few minutes here in this environment. So again, I did a fast forward, quick forward here. But you see bootstrapping first and determine the current state here. We query the inventory with DBMS QO patch. Uh, no interim patches uh, need to be applied, but apply of the 18.3.0 release update. And then it installs the patches, nothing needs to be rolled back, all fine. It applies it to the CDP dollar root and a PDP dollar seed, that is expected. And after a quick while, all is done. So that was patching my database. And if you would like to see more about this, go to the upgrade blog, please, at mikedietrichde.com. And there you'll find a lot more information about patching to 18.3.0. Thanks a lot and goodbye.